Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day, and today it's Thursday the 29th, and today was a gorgeous day outside. Started off nice and cold um, overnight, it was down like the low 30s, whatever. Wind chills was down in like the low 20s, it was crazy, I'll get out. The wind must have shifted weird because with my electric baseboard heat, I don't have thermostats, I just have the knob on the actual, each single unit. And it must have shifted weird because the wind must have been blowing from the other direction because the heater, uh, if it blows from one side, my house is too warm. If it blows from the other, my house is too cold. And I woke up froze to death. Like, I was so damn cold, it was ridiculous. So that or the other option is the dog um, knocked the heater control. I'm not really sure which because it's been cold in here all damn day a couple times coming through here and right now i'm actually a little on the cold side i might get back up and actually turn that heat back up a bit but who knows i tend to sleep better once i get to sleep in the cold but it's that hard getting to sleep that sucks so but i got up today um, had a handful of crap to get done in the morning nothing really major got that all knocked out um, had a ton of stuff to get taken care of because tomorrow is my surgery and Definitely uh, will not be doing anything for at least the next couple, three days at least. And then I'll be hobbling around a little bit and then working back into it in a week or two where I can actually start doing some stuff. So they're calling for possibly six month, 100% recovery, but I'm they're talking like at least a month off running again, the same as it was when I had my toenails removed. And he talks like this will be, even though it's only in the one foot, it's going to be a much longer, more painful recovery then the toes, the toes was, he said it'll be much more painful the first few days. The first three days was the most horrific, just horrendous pain I ever had in my life. And then it kind of started dropping off slowly. He said this one will be as bad if not worse for the first 24 hours. And then it will should drop off quicker. But it's going to take a lot longer to get a full recovery on. So we'll see what happens. He's coming through the top of my foot to so the bottom because there's a chance of scar tissue. And as much as I run and stuff, I guess it could be an issue later. But... By going to the top, it's going to be much more painful in the process early on here. But like I told him, I would much rather take the extra pain now and just suffer through it and have it not cause me problems later on in life. If I can eliminate some of that pain, I'll be much more for that. So went ahead, um, did tons of laundry, um, did like four or five hours of cooking, um, made up some tea. I made just all kinds of stuff, made up a bunch of meals and stuff ready to go for the next few days. Um, just got all my laundry washed, my dog bedding washed, all that kind of stuff. It's crazy how long that stuff takes. It's just that delay. But when you're doing one thing, you go do the other thing and keep going and so on and so forth. Um, went ahead, um, ended up the gym today. And for some reason, I don't know, I just thought, I'm going to run the treadmill, which is so unlike me, absolutely unlike me at all. It, I don't know what the hell I was thinking. So I ran the treadmill. I actually got an elliptical bike for a while. Um, it was windy as hell today. I didn't want to be out riding on the bike. The temperature warmed up, I think probably in the 40s, something like that. So I could have easily ran. So I ran much colder than this the other day in the rain. So I could have done it. But for whatever reason, I just ended up the gym. I spent, you know, I don't know, a long time on the bike. Well, I mean, hours on the bike. I was on the treadmill for um, about a half an hour or so, somewhere in there. I think a little over at half an hour. And it was really kind of weird to be on a treadmill. It's been the first time I've been on a treadmill in well over a year. And it was super creepy. Like, it just, it was, it was hard. I mean, it literally, it was like hard to get my breath. It was hard to get my rhythm. It was just, I don't know, it was just, it was odd. And it felt like it did way, way back in the day when I'd been on the treadmill for, you know, six months, whatever the hell it was. I'd been running on a treadmill, probably 10 months. I started out with walking and running on a treadmill. And I went outside for the first time and I couldn't get my pace. I couldn't get my breath, all that kind of stuff. It felt the same way going back to a treadmill. Luckily, I was able to overcome it and ran a sub 30 minute 5K, not even trying, just screwing around, I was having a good time. And looked down, I watched, I'm like, holy shit, that's actually sub, you know, 30 minute 5K, which wasn't bad. So went ahead, um, I got through it, got back on the bike, knocked out the bike there again, was talking to some new people, the new um, person that was lady that was signing up, giving her a hard time, kind of laughing and joking and stuff. And one of the comments I made was kind of a little bit, um, probably a little bit too far to make a joke with somebody you don't know, but I kind of just, the way she was talking, she seemed like a fun person. And the manager there was like, hey, Dick, all well, kind of stuff. Like, kind of chewed me a little bit for it. And she laughed her butt off at the comment. She thought it was funny in hell. So it was one of those things, and he kind of backed off a little bit. And it was funny because we were just making the jokes, and it was just, it's kind of an inside thing. It doesn't matter what it was. But it was one of those things that if you didn't know she had a good personality and a good sense of humor, 
it could have really went bad. And luckily, she had that good sense of humor. And I was just testing the water there and whatever. So it went really well. Um, we talked and joked. Um, she has an autistic child. We talked about that and stuff and different things. Joke wasn't about the kid. The joke was about her, so don't think I was that big of a dick. But went ahead, had a good time there. Headed back out, Bruce in the van just being so sad looking in the window. So he can see me through the gym window and he's just staring at me like all pouty face. And it was funny, people come in like, your dog's out there crying. I'm like, he's not crying. He's just, he's getting the sad pouty face. And they started laughing. Yeah, but he looks miserable. So he went ahead and, you know, basically gave me the whole, made me feel bad kind of thing. So we got back done from there, came home, um, got cleaned up and stuff and lit the um, wood stove up. Came inside, um, like I said, got cleaned up and that, head back out to the shop, get some stuff done, and the damn fire in the stove did not stay lit. I was so pissed. It was cold in the garage. I was pissed off. Didn't take a jacket out there, and kind of as punishment for not having it, not lighting it properly, I didn't even put my jacket on. I just, like, suffered through the cold, and it really sucked. Had a guy that's been trying to come by to look at one of my um, vehicles for oh, days and days now, like over a week, I think it's been, and it's just something comes up every single night it's just getting annoying and stuff and i kind of lost hope in him but we'll see what happens uh, went ahead he finally showed up tonight um, real nice kid we talked about things stuff he looked at my truck my van he's actually looking at like three of my vehicles and so i think that more or less tells me he has no money he's not going to buy anything when he's just he's wanting to buy everything kind of thing it's a little bit sketchy so the only other option is the fact that he's thinking i'm going to you know loan him some money and like you know front him the damn money which will not happen i don't I don't do payments on vehicles very often at all. And I have in the past, and it's worked out okay for me sometimes, but it's also been a real bur burr in my, you know, in my, uh, in my, oh, what the hell is it called? It's burr in my um, blanket, like a horse blanket thing. Just put a, like a burr in there. It don't matter. But um, I think I'm going to go ahead and text him out a um, text in the morning before I go into surgery and say, hey, dude, um, I told him I was having surgery tomorrow, so I couldn't help him out tomorrow if he needed to do anything, but he could stop by if he wanted to come by and make a cash offer because no offer to me is real unless I see cash in front of me. I don't give a shit. Oh, I'll get it, I'll get it, I'll get it. No, screw you. The only offer is here's my asking price, here's the cash price when there's cash in front of me. I don't play that crap. So went ahead and I'm going to basically text him, hey, all three of them for X amount, here's the money. Um, guarantee you it's a stellar deal, but if I can unload all three of them and not have to deal with Craigslist, not have to deal with that shit, I will be so stoked. I'll take the loss on it which I'll be fine with, they're not a problem at all, and just dump all three of those, then I'll save me like 100 bucks a month in insurance and so much other, and, you know, that's just so much better in process there if I get that rid of that. So also ran down, forgot I need to get dog food, ran down, grabbed like two bags of dog food, and there goes 100 bucks. You know, it's crazy how that shit adds up. But um, got that done. I was out in the garage, um, took care of a bunch of crap out there, got stuff moved around, got a couple of projects finished up that needed to be done before my surgery because I will not be able to get them done by the deadline. So luckily they're all wrapped up. They're good to go. Uh, everything's going good. Back inside, cooking some more, finishing up some stuff, uh, just having the good old time, you know how it goes. And then ended up um, getting a text message from somebody I have not heard from in quite some time. And last time I talked to him was real shortly, and then I'd been... I mean, long, long, long last time before then. And it was one of those weird things that I wasn't really sure I was going to mention tonight, but it brought up a shitload of old emotions and stuff. And I was, I thought I was completely over the crap and I wasn't, it was pretty tough. It really kind of rocked my world there a little bit. Um, conversation went well and it was not like bad and stuff. It's just, I, I don't know, brought out a ton of crap. And I think a little bit of it was the fact that I'm going into surgery tomorrow and any surgery had the whole little conversation with the anesthesiologist is, you know, you might not wake up, any, you know, thing comes at risk, and yada, yada, all that crap, you can die, and this might be the last time you ever see Earth, and all this kind of shit, whatever, and I just said, you know what, fuck, I'm gonna lay this stuff out there, and I basically apologized for it, and just laid out the, the fuck-ups in the past of it, and the feelings, and the whatnot, I didn't really go into crazy detail of it and stuff, but just kind of dumped it out there, and just kind of said, hey, here's where I'm at, here's, you know, where I'm thinking, and I basically said, hey, it might be the fact, the fear of not, you know, waking up tomorrow that might make a big difference, and, not just from sleep at night, my hell, I might die at night, who knows, but not waking up from the anesthesia, anesthesiologist, and anytime you go under, there's a chance you might not wake up, I have never had a problem with that before, I've always woke up, out of no big deal at all, so, but, it's, I mean, it just hit me weird t tonight, and it really kind of fucked with me, I mean, it really, really did, and the part that sucks is there's nothing more than I want to do right now, is just go out and go run, I just want to go run until morning, and the scary part is I could, I mean, I have the energy, I know I have the ability to run, you know, for the next, I, 
there's a tiny part of me that sounds screwed up as hell. My surgery is, uh, it's, it's like 32 miles away. Um, I've really thought about just like throwing on my running gear and just heading that way, just like straight out run over there and shower at the hospital before my surgery. And the only thing that's really stopped me from doing that, besides a little chilly and a little bit cold, which I could handle that wouldn't be a big deal, is the highway over there has no real shoulders. It's a shitty road. And then two, I'm not supposed to eat food or drink after midnight, and I'll need to eat food and drink if I'm going to run 32 miles. So I realized the fact in talking to this person, I was talking about running and stuff before we kind of got into the deeper shit, and I realized the fact that one of the biggest reasons I run is because I'm running away from shit, which I say a lot of runners are running from something, and I'm definitely still running from some of the fuck-ups in my life and whatnot, and one of the ones wrapped greatly around this person. So who knows? Um... I don't know. It's one of those things you think you're all, it's all done, it's all gone and stuff, and it's not. I guess it's just one of those things that always comes up, and it's always there. So get out there. If you ever have a chance, if you got somebody you're holding stuff back that you want to tell them because you're, you don't want to tell them because of the fact you're afraid what they'll think of you and stuff, fuck them, whatever. You know, just tell them. You know, there's actually something to tell one of the nurses over there. I'm hoping I see one of the nurses I've been seeing for. And so I want to tell her that I've been wanting to tell her since like the first time we really talked at all and I haven't said anything because I just I didn't want to come off as that dude who's like oh he shares too much whatever and you know what fuck it I've decided I'm telling them tomorrow too so definitely going to have that conversation and everybody should just lay this shit out there you never know what you're going to end up with so anyway that's all I got for it now uh, I guess I'm going to go back to my um, crazy little weird random rant thoughts here now so anyway Talk to you guys tomorrow, assuming I wake up from my sleep or from the being knocked out in the surgery. But anyway, wish me luck, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. God willing.